And so today, we're figuring out how to install a woven wire fence. What are you doing? Our neighbors just planted some beautiful new trees and the chickens are getting over and messing with their mulch. So we gotta put up a fence line this way. So we don't know where this line is exactly. So the first step is we need to figure out where exactly our property line is. That's it. Yeah, there's gotta be a better way to do that. It's locked? Yeah. All right. And my mask on. We're going to buy a fence. Oh my gosh, I feel like the guys at Tractor Supply hate me. Like I have no idea what I'm doing, what kind of things I need. I feel like a idiot. Uh, trying to install a woven wire fence. I've never done that before. Do you know what I need? All right, so we have all of our stuff from Tractor Supply. Uh, I've just got the woven field wire fence, T posts, and some wooden posts. And I've got this cable puller here to tension the. Um, the fence, not really sure how this is going to work. We're going to figure that out. Got some T-post clips. This probably isn't necessary, but got this clip bender because it was kind of a pain. We've tried to do this before and it was kind of a pain to put it on. So we'll see if this makes things any easier. Certainly could have picked a better day to do this on. Right? It's kind of snowy and cold, rainy. I guess concrete isn't really necessary if you have if you have a lot of clay soil, but we have some we had some concrete laying around, so we're going to put some in there. It might be a good... Well, I think it would be good. This is just to create a straight line so we know where to put the T-posts in. Oh yeah, and have this post hole driver as well. We had this already, so we didn't have to pick this one up, but you have to use this. All right, so it's actually been a couple hours. Have most of the T-posts up now, but we had to go back to tractor supply because I got the wrong fence. So now we're back at it with the right fence again. Come here, Bradley. No. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Huh? Yes. Just come. But did you see this on a video somewhere? So we can't just pull on one part of the fence here to make it tight because obviously it's just going to <laughs> deform the fence and it's not gonna make the entire width of the fence tight. So we put this little red rebar and kind of intertwined it here. So hopefully that kind of disperses the the pole 
that make sense? <laughs> so, how does this thing work? I think we connect one to the yeah. tractor. Okay. All right. That actually worked pretty good. I should have read the directions on this tool first because it took me a long time to get those first ones in. But it's a lot, it does definitely help. Does it? Yeah. No. Oh, you just kind of twist it? Yeah. So, right? That's pretty sweet. That's nice. Yeah, that's way easier. Cool. All right, so finally got the fence done. Took most of the day, but mostly because we didn't know what we were doing. And of course, we buy the wrong stuff from the store. But I think if we had to do it again, we'd probably get a fence. If we did 200 yards, we'd probably get a 200 yard fence done in like a couple hours, two, three hours, um, once you know what you're doing. But I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of us. We figured out how to install a fence today.